What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer Day with TK. It is a beautiful winter's day here in Finley, Ohio, and I'm hanging out in the beer shed getting ready to check out a new beer. Now, the beer I have today is called Gola Seca, and this was sent to me by my friend Friar Joseph, and I'll throw a link up to his channel. If you don't follow him, go check him out. He does beer reviews, he does food-related stuff with barbecue, and he does some travel videos where he travels around Ireland and, you know, shows you what's going on in the European continent over there. So some cool stuff going on. Um, this one here is called, like I said, Gola Seca, and it says that it's an Italian dry stout. And this is a collaboration between the White Hag, which is out of Ballymote, Sligo, Ireland, and Brewfist Italian Ales that are from Cadagno, hopefully I'm saying that right, in Italy. So this is an Irish and Italian collab. And this was in a box he sent me. Um, it was one of those advent calendars that had like, you know, 12 different beers or whatever it was in there. So he sent me one of those, and this was one of the beers that was in that. Um, can artwork is pretty neat looking. We got a little blurb here on the back. It says, as a return collab here in Sligo, uh, we take the best of what we're known for abroad and one of the finest traits of Italian beer to create this hybrid collaboration. We've been friends with Brewfist for many years, but this year is the first year we've managed to make a beer together. So we made two, uh, made for our Hagstravaganza Beer Festival. <clears throat> we also have the ingredients. It just says water, barley, hops, yeast. Nothing too exciting there. Um, yeah, nothing else going on. So, Gola Seca apparently means dry throat in Italian, because I looked that up, so I wasn't sure, you know, what it stood for. It looks like there's a town in Italy that has a similar name, and, uh, a song. Somebody wrote a song called Gola Seca. I don't know, maybe it's an Italian song. But all those things popped up when I initially Googled what Gola Seca was. So this is supposed to be a, uh, dry stout and Italian pills, and they're kind of mixed together. So I don't know. I have no idea what that'll be like. Can't say I've ever had a beer like that before. Oh, crap. These things, all of them, have been very carbonated, I noticed, man. Because when I first got this, we did an unboxing video, me and Anderson. And uh, the first couple we opened, they went everywhere. This thing's been in the fridge for months. Nobody's touched it, and it's still doing this, which is a hot mess, man. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? The second I opened it, it's coming out of the can. Um, which kind of surprises me for a stout. Now, the only thing I can think, the only thing I can think of is Italian pilsners, in my opinion, tend to be a bit dry and sometimes a bit heavily carbonated. So maybe they went for that and overshot it. Because honestly, I don't know what the hell to do with this thing. Look at it. It's like 97% not beer at this point in time. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll have to cut and wait till it drops and then cut back in eventually, but there'll probably be a time-lapse sequence here while I wait seven years for this beer to actually do what it's supposed to. Now, color, from what I can see, is just brown. I mean, if I break out my SRM chart, I don't know. I don't even know if I go ruby brown. I'm trying to hold it up to the light. Can't really see. Can't really see through it. It looks darker in the middle of the edges. You get a little bit of the brown, maybe like, I don't know, 21 or 22. Head looks magnificent. I mean, it's nice. Um, I would say it's a, a, a tannish head. Uh, it looks like what you get on an oatmeal stout almost because it's real big, clumpy up, big, clumpy islands on it. And it looks, looks solid. Just wish it wasn't 97% head. Well, I don't know how long I'm going to wait on this, but we'll give it a sniff, see if that helps. Nothing too crazy going on in those. It smells lightly sweet. For when I hear dry stout, my brain goes to something like maybe like Guinness, um, where you get more of a roasty smell. This almost smells sweeter, like a like a a chocolatey kind of malty smell, which I don't mind. It smells pretty nice. Mm, what the hell? Let's give it a shot. See if I can get through this head. Good lord, it's jiggling like that. Oh, looks good. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. That's a weird one. Body is kind of light. Again, I kind of prefer heavier bodies with a stout. Flavors. This one's not hitting for me, to be honest. Um, you get 
it's funny, I thought it smelled sweet on the nose. When I drink it, you definitely get that dry stout taste, which is, I think, more of roasted grain, kind of a flat taste to it. Um, doesn't taste like coffee, doesn't really taste sweet like chocolate, it's just kind of a, a roasted grain kind of taste. Then you get a strange bitterness at the end, um, which I don't know if that's supposed to be, I mean, I guess dry stouts are, are a bit dry and bitter, but yeah, I don't know. This thing's not really doing a lot for me, which is a shame because I think I liked of the box that had maybe 11 or 12 beers in it. I think most of them I actually really like this one is, eh. It's kind of weird. The bitterness, like that roasty bitterness is just like lodged here at the back of my throat and it just won't go away. All I can taste is that that kind of like uh, bitterness to it. Now, I will say this. Italian Pilsners, I, I don't really get the hype about Italian Pilsners. In my mind, they're just a little bit drier and they seem to be more carbonated. Um, I haven't had a ton of them, but the ones I had, I thought they were okay, but I don't think they were anything special. Um, so I'm not really sure what you're going for. I mean, I guess it, it lightens or should theoretically, if you're taking a Pilsner and mixing it with a stout, lighten the beer up somewhat. I mean, make the body a little lighter, maybe cut back on the, the roasty malt thing, where I don't think that that's done that. I mean, you definitely still get the roasty malt, you get the bitterness and it kind of lingers, um, you know, and that's about it. So what do I think about this one? I don't know. I think this is going to get an eh. Um, it's not bad enough that it's a drain pour for sure, but is it something that I would drink again? No, definitely not. Um, and I've had beers from both of these guys before that I liked. This one just doesn't really hit the bill for me. Um, like I said, I'll finish it. Thrilled to be able to try it as it's something I couldn't get in the U.S. on my own. Um, but would this make it into the regular rotation? Nah, it would be. It's here. If someone gave me one, I'd drink it, but I wouldn't seek it out. Where many of the others from the box I would seek out. This one, not so much. So, is what it is. Cola Second gets an eh. It's all right. Uh, if anybody else is out there, try it. Let me know what you think of it. Hopefully, you don't think my video is eh. Or maybe you do. I don't care. It's all right. You're free to think what you want. This is still the free world. But if you do like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, got any comments or questions, let me know down below. Have you had Gola Seca? Am I missing the mark? Is this better than I think it is? If so, let me know what you think about it, man. Hey, till next time. Cheers.